Once you know anything about what's involved with a sperm eating an egg, it's a miracle it ever happens. A new life, a new beginning, the miracle of childbirth, an event that brings joy to millions. But to others, it's a reality that may never happen. The only thing that was in our mind was trying to have a child. Really, every other problem in the world paled by comparison. Every day you're wondering, what procedure should we do now? Did the results come back yet? For couples facing infertility, it can be very difficult to choose the right specialist. And then, it's just as difficult to choose the right procedure. They will send you for laparoscopies, sonograms, blood tests, on and on and on. And in some cases, you spend time in the hospital. The Institute for Reproductive Medicine and Science was created with the goal of directing and overseeing couples through this very confusing and difficult process, guiding them and providing them with an effective treatment. We really started to try to alleviate the pain of those who are not finding solutions through regular circles. We started to help save couples from unnecessary procedures, unnecessary surgeries, insensitivity. Couples are introduced to some of the world's leading specialists in the field of infertility and are offered the most scientifically and technically advanced procedures all through one facility. No other place in the world is offering this combination of techniques especially to help the population where it's severe male infertility. We are helping people that basically have gone through other places, have been either turned down by other places or have gone and not be successful. Dramatic new applications of technology have been developed at the Institute, which draw patients from around the world. When we prepare patients for in vitro fertilizations on a whole, we're talking about success rates that are nearly twice that, that are being published by um, IVF centers around the world. When we started a pretty new technique in the laboratory, there were nine fertilizations. Out of 11, there were nine. New imaging techniques employed at the Institute have already changed the lives of many couples who have been previously told that they were beyond help. Dr. Bruno Lunenfeld, one of the world's most celebrated fertility experts and who is credited with the development of Pergonol, the best known fertility medication, serves the Institute as medical director. What we demand of our staff is motivation. Our medical staff is ready to search, sit on the microscope for eight, ten hours to find that single sperm. There are a lot of couples where you just don't have to do surgery to get sperm out if you just look a little bit more carefully and, and then you save the man an operation. And one of the major roles of the Institute has been to emphasize that and to improve the ways to get sperm out. The way particularly Dr. Fishbein is looking at semen samples, she's been able to identify sperm in a rather hardcore population of males that sperm have never been found before in their lives. And not only has she found sperm in these individuals, but she's able to help them to conceive. And that's phenomenal. When treating couples, it is crucial to have access to all of the latest solutions and techniques because each couple is unique and requires a different course of treatment. Matching the right doctor and technique with each couple is critical. Simply offering the most advanced medical procedure is not always the answer. Often, a less complicated procedure can be the key that unlocks a couple's fertility problem that might have been plaguing them for years. Before trying those very sophisticated technologies, we will make an effort to rehabilitate the natural potential of the couple to become parents. Mark and I had already arranged for IVF, in vitro fertilization. He said there are things, specific things, that could be cured that are causing the problem. Many couples remain unaware that some of the most unyielding and stubborn infertility problems are caused by bacterial infection. Dr. Fishbein has been among the leaders in establishing more rigorous testing procedures to detect and cure couples who suffer from these otherwise undetectable chronic infections. 
I've worked with Dr. Fishbein for many years when I was the uh, chairman of the Department of Infectious Diseases at Mount Sinai. I found her to be a really well-versed scientist and in her field the best she was without peer in New York. He had bacteria in his sperm and he had taken these antibiotics and uh, he took it for a couple weeks maybe 10 days, and the next month I got pregnant. Almost 10 months later I had a beautiful baby boy, 9 pounds, 4 ounces, very he healthy, and we call him our miracle baby. In retrospect, we went through many, many months of fertility treatment that was probably in vain. But I think that he did the best he could. I just don't think he knew about certain procedures, and maybe for 85%, of the population, his methodology was fine, but it was not for us. I'm very grateful for the Institute. I'm very grateful for the help that Dr. Jacobit Fischwein's given. The logistics of having to do IVF and the financial burden, I mean, it would have been probably $14,000. The elation that you can provide to a couple and you feel the satisfaction of is just the high. It's just tremendous. Once they have children, it really helps them to go ahead and and appreciate their children as, as the gift that they are. It's a privilege, in fact, to be involved in such work. It gives not only happiness, but extreme happiness to the couples involved. It adds a human being who is very loved. You really can't describe what being a grandfather is like. It's continuation. He's um, passing on the genes. I'll never, I'll never die because of him. Be on and on and on. Right?